Fellow Flat Earthers, this is your boy, the Flat Earther Judah Tribe. Uh, we're going to do a quick one. This is going to be in my playlist under the sun and the moon. We're going to do a quick one, man. We're going to start in the book of Joshua, chapter 10, verse 13. Joshua 10, verse 13. And, um, you know, you have heard of this verse. You've seen this verse. You probably haven't thought too much about it. But uh, it actually makes a lot of sense. So Joshua 10, verse 13. I shouldn't be at the Deuteronomy. There we go. Joshua 10, verse 13. And it's going to read. And the sun stood still and the moon stayed until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies is not this written in the book of Jasher so the sun stood still in the midst of heaven in the firmament and hasted not to go down about a whole day and there was no day like that before it or after it that Ahia hearkened to the voice of a man for Ahia fought for Israel or Yashar Allah <clears throat> so there you see that one verse alone you know your pastor sits in a pulpit and he you know and he reads this verse and um, you know and he reads this verse and you never really think anything of it like okay Joshua made the sun and moon to still but but think about it think about it the reason why you don't think about it is because you already been lied to and you are saying that the sun is the center of the, is heliocentric is the center of the universe you don't think anything about it you don't even ask about it you don't even think anything about it but logically you got to start thinking to yourself if we're spinning around the sun how is the sun going to stop? You see, you catch my, my drift? It's not a heliocentric thing. The, the, the sun is not the focal point of everything. As we're going to go through this and see. I want you to turn to the book of Jasher. Which they, which they, which they just mentioned. We'll go to verse 88. I mean, we'll go to chapter 88. And we're going to start with verse 63. Joshua 88, verse 63. And that's going to read, And when they were smiting, or they was killing, the day was declining toward evening. And Joshua, 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 said in the sight of all the people, Son, stand still, thou still upon Gibeon, I mean, in the sight of all the people, and thou moon in the valley of Ajalon, until the nation shall have avenged, revenged itself upon its enemies, and Ahiah hearkened to the voice of Yehoshua, and the sun stood still in the midst of the heavens, and it stood still six and thirty moments, and the moon also stood still and hasten not to go down a whole day and he goes on to say there was no day like it before or after it do you see that do, do you see that do you see how he made the sun and the moon stay still the earth is not going around these things they are going around the earth okay it's plain as day it's plain as day right there to see that what is actually happening and what you have been taught is a lie. They teach you in the university. They, they teach you they from, from grade school on up. They teach you these lies. And they continue to teach these lies each and every day. I'm going to give you one more verse. Just food for thought. Just food for if If the sun is the, cent, is the central point, if it's so big and huge, it's the, if, if it's so heliocentric, 
then why does it go like this? We're going to go to Genesis 1. And I want you to go to verse 14. Now, keep in mind, this is after everything has been created. The earth has already been created. Everything has been created. And this is the fourth day, actually. And, and, the, and, the, and the Most High said, let there be lights in the firmament. See, they don't teach you about the front, what this firmament actually is up there. They don't teach you what this is of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years you use the sun and the moon it's not the sun is just there because it's for signs is to give you light it's for signs and seasons and for days of the year nothing else now they, they have all this religion where it's worshiping the sun give me a little bit more light here where it's actually worshiping the sun and now you now what they give you it's all in a frenzy they tell you you know the sun is just the focal point of everything helios that's what it is it's a sun guy the sun is the focal point so we continue on to verse 15 and let them be for lights in the firmament that's where they locate it this lights the sun and the moon is in the firmament which they never ever teach you of the heaven to give light upon the earth that's what it is it's for heat it's for light it's for season to help grow crops and things of that nature and it was so and the most high made two great lights the greater light to rule the day which is the sun and the lesser light to rule the night which is the moon he made the stars also and where did he put them and the most high set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and to rule over the night and to divide the light from the darkness and the most high saw that it was good it was good you don't have to have this heliocentric point of view that we're revolving around this sun. It's good. He set them in the firmament. The earth is the focal point here. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. He didn't even make the sun and the moon until the fourth day. So how can the sun and the moon be the focal point when it wasn't even made until the fourth day? Y'all need to stop putting your thing caps on, man, and stop being, you need to stop being just tricked, deceived. The earth is the focal point of the universe, pretty much. It was created for you. The sun was created for you. You wasn't created for the sun. The sun was created for you. And, and, and speaking of that, look at that last verse. And the evening and the morning were the first day. So they even got what a day is wrong. You think the day starts in the morning. No, the evening. That's why when you do Shabbat, you do sundown. You do sundown to sundown. Okay? That's why we do Shabbat like that, because that's when the day actually begins. All right. Look, this is your boy, the Flat Earth for Judah Tribe. I get at you guys on the next video. Shalom. It's going down, man. It's your boy Judy Tribe. Man, just laid up, man. Chilling to this track tonight, man. And this is what I like to do, man. This was called Going Through My Portals. Just a quick little excerpt. Check it out. Judah Tribe, boy, the king of Judah. What you gonna do? Waiting in the wing around the world to the four corners. Grab my chariot. This world is so irrelevant. Kumbaya, my lord. Scoop me up and we gon' fellowship around this whole flat earth. Been preparing for rebirth. Can't nobody.
Somebody stop me now. Mess around, you gon' get hurt. Not a jerk, just a prophet on a mission. Gonna seek out secret places, bring the truth to Gentile nations. I'm a Hebrew Israelite. I was born to bring the light. Sun shines down on me, illuminate and follow me wherever that I go. Parting oceans and the seas, elevating to the point where you calling me a god, Jesus.